Hey everybody, it's Jeff here at the Brethren Workshop. So I went down in the river to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the star and crown? Good Lord, show me the way. Oh, brothers, let's go down, let's go down, come on down. Uh, just a reminder that we're having the blacksmithing uh, workshop coming up on the 19th and the 26th of this month. If uh, you want to join join in with it, just let us know. And uh, it kind of relates to, I was thinking about Pastor Nathan's message on Sunday was from Hebrews 12, and it talked about a great cloud of witnesses that gather around us to help us run the race that's set for us. And uh, he talked about us doing things together and being together, and he gave the story about running uh, in, in college, the races, and how they helped each other. And it kind of reminded me also of one of my favorite verses is Proverbs uh, 27, 17, that says, uh, as iron sharpens iron, one person sharpens another. And it so relates to the, the blacksmithing that we're going to be doing here uh, this month. And you can see I'm sitting here beside the old coal forge at the anvil and everything behind me in the shop and the gas forge over there. And, and we're going to take some metal and, and bend it and twist it and make it into a shape that we want it to. But that's uh, the fun part of the workshop. But it's just a reminder that the whole reason for the workshop, one of the things that God does with it, is He does bring us together as Christians and lets us fellowship and learn to know each other in a different type of environment than just the church. Uh, I noticed throughout my life and, and uh, you know, my work and career, the jobs that I've done, that some of the closest relationships that I've had were, were with people that I've worked with. And, you know, you're learning skills together, you're working together, you have a common goal like that. And, and as Christians, we have the common goal of serving Jesus Christ and looking out for one another. So the workshop here is a good uh, place to do that, to come out and just be, be men together and be in fellowship together and, and uh, just, you know, work together and, and learn each other so we can hold each other accountable. Because it's really tough to hold somebody accountable that you don't know. I mean... Uh, if you, you tell somebody, hey, you know, what you're doing there is sinful, it's wrong, and they don't know who you are, they kind of give you a funny look, and they just, they really don't appreciate that. But as we build these relationships, it's a better possibility that we can hold each other accountable, because we're like family. We, we, can, we can help each other. You know, you guys can help me when I'm slipping. I can help you when you're slipping. Uh, we can talk to each other, you know, and, and we just have this connection that we can work together and, and we can pray together and we can search the Lord together. And that's just uh, something I wanted to mention, you know, about the workshop here and the work that we do. And also another part of the work we do here at the workshop, I think it's great for the younger students and the younger uh, children to come to do the different uh, projects and stuff because you know, they grow up in this atmosphere where they see what it's like to be a man of God or a woman of God as they come out here and they work with us. And also, you know, it, it was funny because I said in church the other Sunday, I talked about how I thought this was just going to be all for men. And then as we did the day classes last year, the timber frame workshop, we had just as many women come as we did men. And I didn't understand it. Well, God revealed to me, said, hey, what better way for a woman to know what a man of God is supposed to act like than to expose him to that environment and learn as they're learning. So we got the, the men here, the, the young men learning what it's supposed to be to be like a man of God. And, and we have the young women watching this and saying, hey, that's what a man of God looks like. That's what my husband should look like, you know, if, if they decide to get married in the future. So it's just an exciting opportunity. I mean, all this stuff comes together and it even surprises me. I don't know what's happening from day to day. I just let the Lord lead it. And it's just exciting to see the things that he does with it. Uh, some of the stuff can be used for missionary training. You know, you might go out into the mission field later on and need the skills. Maybe you're in a, a jungle environment and you need to learn how to build some houses real quick. Well, with the timber framing classes, you'd have the skills with, with simple tools that don't take no electricity uh, to do that work. You might have to make tools, you know. To, I mean, you never know what you're going to get into. If you have to make tools for your timber from your tools for carving wood, you can make them on the forge. So it's also an opportunity for missionary training. So uh, I just wanted to give you a, a little bit of that and, and show how much it related to last Sunday's uh, uh, passages that Pastor Nathan was preaching on. 
And I just want to invite everybody to come out and be a part and be involved in it because it's, it's exciting things that God's doing here. And uh, it's just a great time for fellowship. It's a great time of learning, not, not just the, the skills, because the skills are secondary here. The main thing we want to teach is about the Bible and about God and how to be the person that God expects us to be. And we can work that out together, just like it says in, in Hebrews uh, 12, that great cloud of witnesses, that we can surround each other and help each other run the race that's set for us. So let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you. Thank you for opportunities for ministry like the Brethren Workshop here. Uh, we ask you to bring the people forward that you want here, dear Lord, that you, that you want us to work with, that you want to work with us, that you want us to teach each other to be people that you want us to be and to guide us and to, and to just show us, Lord, show us your will, show us your way through your scripture. Just guide us and teach us. And thank you for being the loving God that you are, that we have the opportunity to do this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.